in athletics, Australia's Heath Francis is the reigning world champion in the 100, 200 and 400 metres for arm amputees. He has a total of nine Paralympic medals, including three gold, and is focused on bringing home more from Beijing. The pressure that I have, I guess, it's a real cliche, but it's the pressure that I put on myself. And, uh, and that pressure is just to, to go out there and, and run the best race that I possibly can. I grew up on a farm, in, uh, on just uh, about an hour, hour north of Newcastle, a bit less than an hour north of Newcastle. And it was a beef cattle farm and also a chicken farm. And uh, yeah, one of the th activities that happened on the farm once or twice a year was that the, we used to slaughter a couple of cows and, uh, and yeah, the, the meat used to go to the farmhands and also uh, us and the owners of the, uh, owners of the property. Uh, my brother and I were, were quite into the whole thing and watching the whole thing. Um, we weren't supposed to be in the, in the butchery when, uh, uh, when the mincing was on. Uh, we, we didn't uh, abide by those rules, I guess. And uh, as I was putting meat down into the mincer, um, my right hand got sucked down and, uh, yeah, uh, basically got stuck down in the mincer for about five hours before I was able to get it um, yeah, removed and operated on down in Newcastle Hospital. I'd gone through my whole, whole life playing sport, trying to not be disabled. And uh, it sounds really, really silly, but um, I really wanted to just be like one of the other kids. Um, that really changed for me when I went away on my first team with the, with the Australian Paralympic team to the 1998 World Championships. And the reason why it changed is that I was amongst just the most amazing group of people and, uh, and people who had the same disability as me, who had much more severe disabilities than me, and they really didn't let it affect them. They weren't nearly as self-conscious as I was at that time. I was 16 when I went away. That was a really big, I guess, learning experience for me at that, that World Championships and uh, more so than probably my athletic results at the Games. It was uh, probably the, the realisation on, on how, I, how I could develop as a person um, and going forward. And it really made me want to be a part of the Sydney Paralympic Games two years later. This time they do get away cleanly. My first event was the 400, which was my main event, which I'd trained for. Very quickly around the bend, so too Francis. He's made up a bit of ground on the uh, Brazilian outside. Went through the race probably a million times in my head, and thankfully I think that helped when I actually stepped out onto the track for the final, and I executed the race, I think, as best as I possibly could on that night. And uh, thankfully, yeah, I, I stayed in front of the rest of the, the, rest of the guys and, uh, and came away with the gold medal. Francis is going to win it. Francis, gold medal for Australia. It's very, very hard to compare, especially Sydney being a home games and Athens being overseas. Going into the Paralympic year, I, I broke the world record for the 400 metres and everything was, was really going on track. And, uh, and then come the, come the Athens Games, uh, I was in sensational shape. So I went in with a lot of confidence, but I knew that the, um, the guy who I'd beaten in, in Sydney, but who had gone on to break the world record and, was the, uh, and also be the world champion, was going to be very, very tough from Brazil, Antonio. And we had an absolute uh, brilliant race. Uh, I led to about 370. Unfortunately, he took the glory because he, won, he, he led the last 30 metres and the, and the most important point, which is across the finish line. about foot position at the track. I have really close relationship with all my athletes, but with his is for me because he was fast and he helped me a lot. He understood my difficulties here when I moved to different country. He knew how hard for me uh, with language and everything. And he became a really close person to me and I not divided him and my daughter Anastasia. They like both like kids for me. Is that first? First. I think my second one was probably faster, didn't it? Really? But I, it's hard to time when you yeah. when I can see you better. Oh, to be able to, to go into the games and say that I've done absolutely everything I possibly could could do to prepare and, and compete and represent my country, it's, a, it's an amazing thing and, and it's because of Arena that I'm going to be going there with that sort of approach and with that mentality and, and also with, with all her support and love and, and it's, it's, yeah, she's just an amazing woman and has along with my mum, uh, have, having the support of these two strong, uh, strong women has been just amazing for me as, as a person developing and also as an athlete developing.
I know that I've had this four years to prepare and the Paralympics is just the most amazing competition and it really does give you that opportunity to, to get all the adrenaline going, to, to, to compete against the best guys in the world and just lift that extra sort of few percent I guess to really do something special and that's what I really want to do is just yeah do something special there and, and run an amazing race.